What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Yep, that is Jason from Granny Days. And this whole video was inspired by just laying in bed watching one of his videos of him shooting Polaroid. Well, actually, I do not have Polaroid, but I did have Instax wide and it, it inspired me to go out and make some photos. Initially, I was thinking of taking my Mamiya C330 and uh, the, uh, the Instax wide, but I changed my mind and decided to bring my trusty uh, Mamiya RB67 because I knew I was going to be walking a lot in this sunny, hot weather. Um, yeah, I decided to take down the prism and then put in the waist level and then also take down the um, motorized bag and put the manual one because the motorized bag has batteries in them that makes it a little bit hefty. So yeah, I stripped it down to the basics, the ones that most of the cameras comes with to keep it light. And as you can see, this is my setup. Um, I had two packs of Instax wide. I have two rows of Kodak Tri-X, two rows of Portra 400, and the Mamiya RB67. <laughs> Walking out the main gate of the house, um, I started to warm up from the house before I step outside, taking a photo of this uh, bicycle that belongs to my nephew that was just laying here in the sun. Um, I thought it was interesting um, and wanted to photograph that to just keep myself warmed up for the day. Now, unfortunately for you guys, you will not be able to see any of the photos that I take on my Mamiya RB because even though I'm able to develop the films whilst I'm here, I do not have any scanner. So unfortunately, you will not be seeing any of the photos that I'll be taking on my uh, Mamiya RB. But if you do follow me on my Instagram, Edmund K. Boateng, um, you'll be seeing the photos on there when I get back to the States and I post them. And if you're watching this and you are asking, when you get back to the state, where are you? I'm still here in Ghana. Um, I've been here the last six weeks. No, more than six weeks, 10 weeks now, or almost 10 weeks now. So I'll be here for three months and I'll be living here at the end of the year. So yeah, I'm still here. Been developing my color films. I've developed almost all my black and whites that I've shot. I started developing that of my color films three days ago. So yeah, unfortunately you will not be seen. However, I will not leave you guys blind. Um, I'll be showing you the photos that I make on the Instax wide because it's instant and you can see that right away. <music> This trip, something really funny happened, which um, it, it's, it's kind of ridiculous because here in Ghana or in Africa, we have a lot of stuff that people believe in and that puts people in fear. You know, people here, some people here believe in voodoo and doing like juju and all those things they think you do in the dark. Um, and it's very uncommon for somebody to be photographing anybody here without them taking payments. So if somebody comes to take a photo of me, I have to pay them. So yeah, it's quite, unf it's, it's not common for somebody to just walk down the street, see somebody and ask to take their photo for free. So what happened was um, on this trip, I saw these little girls that were sitting under um, some shed and it looks like they were with their mom but their mom was talking to somebody else and when they saw me with the camera they started posing for me 
So I thought, oh, maybe this might be an opportunity to ask them to photograph them. And they said yes. You know, I asked if I could take their photo. They said yes. Um, they came out from the shed. They came to stand on this uh, pile of sand. And I took the photo and I developed the photos yesterday and it actually came out really great. And again, if you follow me on my Instagram, you will see that photo. However, after I took the photo, um, because again, I already knew here, uh, you cannot just walk to somebody, take their photo and walk away or even ask or tell them you will send it to them later or something like that because not everybody has uh, emails and all of that. So anyway, what I do is anytime I photograph somebody on my RB, I take a photo of them on my Instax wide. Most of the time I take two and I give them one and I keep one. In this scenario, um, after I had taken the Instax, I had already taken the RB and then after I've taken the Instax, you know, you have to wait for like some few seconds or a minute for the Instax to develop. So I went to stand in the shed with them and by then their mom has finished talking with whoever they were talking with and came to join us. Uh, when they came, they were a bit very like curious as to what I was doing and why I'd photograph her kids. So I started talking to her, asking her questions, trying to engage her in a conversation for her to know, you know, I'm not going to use the photos for anything bad. And I offered to give them actually one of the Instax. But then on the second thought, I decided to give them both because I didn't want her to feel like, what is this stranger going to do with photographs of my kids? You know, with the physical prints, um, taking them, she might not feel comfortable, but the one that I've taken on the RB that she hadn't seen, um, that is not a big deal because again, here people are not familiar with film. Um, they know digital, so as soon as they, you take the photo, they see it right away. And it's not like that with film. So after I had given them the, um, the, the Instax wide, I, decided to give the kids some money to just like, I don't know, just to say a thank you or just to give them something for their time and something like that. Um, which was also weird because again, the person that I photograph is supposed to pay me. That's how it is here. But I photograph them, give them the photo and also give them money. I wasn't thinking about it at that point, but my brother was with me my little brother was with me, obviously you guys have seen in the video, and we started walking down the street. So walking down the street, we met another guy, um, and you will see in the, in, the, in the Polaroid shot that I took, in the Instax white that I took, um, photographed him, we, we chat a little bit. So by the time we got down the street, we walked past a junction, like a crossroad, and some women were yelling, calling us, myself and my brother, like, hey, young guys, come here. So we turned around and I noticed the woman that was with the kids when I photographed them, together with two other women. The kids were not with them, but two other women and her were running towards us, calling us to come. So I approached them and the, the, the woman that was calling us said, she, uh, her sister came home and told her a stranger took photos of their kid and also gave them money. And here, especially when the money is like brand new, you know, like people has an assumption that you are, you, you do some juju or voodoo or something like that. So she came to tell them she's nervous because maybe the person is going to use her case for juju. And as funny as it is, um, it's also a serious thing for people where if you are not careful, they could have brought like guys and they could have just like, that. It, it would have been worse than how it turned out to be. Now, luckily for me, this, this neighborhood, nobody knows me because I've never lived here before. This is where my parents live. They moved here whilst I was in the state. Um, so they didn't know me, but one of the women recognized my brother and said, I do know you, I've seen you around the, the neighborhood. And that was what kind of 
de-escalated the whole situation and they kind of calmed down a little bit. I told them what I do, um, what I'm using the photos for, and then also like let them see some of the photos that I've taken in the States and you know exactly who I am. So um, again, it was, it was weird, it was funny, but also it was uh, serious. So if you ever come to Ghana, ever to like stay or visit or anything and you're here taking photos, uh, just be mindful of who you photograph and how you react to when they come and ask you questions. Just a little tip in there. So I was lucky because again, I'm from here, I speak the language and I was able to explain myself very well. So let's get back to the video. And yeah, again, right after that situation, uh, this yellow van here, where, whilst I was photographing it, the owner, there was a guy that was cleaning around it, and then another guy came who I think happens to be the owner, and started asking me a question like, hey, why are you photographing my truck, or my van? What are you using it for? Why didn't you ask permission? Like, what are, you, what are you using the image for? They kept asking that, what are you using the image for? And I kept telling them, um, nothing, just for myself. I just think the colors of the van with the background and the environment you? looks pretty. Ah, just course. like how we photograph any, anything and everything. Um, but yeah, here people will question you because again, it's not common for people to see you just photographing buildings and trees and vans and houses like no they they will question you and if you are not able to explain yourself very well they might call for backup and it will escalate to something as simple as just making a photo So yeah, that is all for today's video. Um, the last person that I photographed, uh, his, build, his house is just like three blocks away from my parents' house, so we stood out and talked with them a little bit. Um, yeah, shout outs to my brother for helping me on this, uh, taking me around the neighborhood because I don't know anywhere. And he was the one that took me into the neighborhood and you know, going behind buildings and getting on another road. And we walked a lot. Like, it was very hot that day, but it was fun. It was nice. It was good to walk around the neighborhood and see how it is. So uh, that's it. Again, I'm sorry that I'm not able to show you the photos that I took with the RB, um, but uh, you will see them once you follow me on my Instagram when I'm back to the States. I have a lot of work that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Um, I'm, when I posted on my Instagram or even in, in the last video when I asked about what out if you guys would like me to do vlogs? I think some people said yes, they'll be interested in seeing those. So we will see. I'll see what I can do. Like like I said, um, 
when it comes to videos, I've not been that motivated, but hey, I'm gonna try and bring videos to you guys so you can see what Ghana is and how it is and how it is being here as a photographer that do not get people to pay you to photograph them. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was fun. I hope you learned something. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, go hit the streets. Be safe out there. <laughs> know how to explain yourself when you come to Ghana photographing. Create some beautiful photos and share with us all. And you don't forget, always create to inspire.